Okay guys, I've got the intake manifold off and we're going to take a look at what it takes to run a GTR on flex fuel, what kind of sensors are involved and what sort of modifications are necessary for that. So the first thing about flex fuel is it places enormous strain on the fuel system. At the same power level, it takes 25 to 30 percent more fuel to make power on the 85. So everything that's done to run more power on flex fuel is centered around increasing the fuel system capacity. This car has fuel rails, aftermarket fuel, fuel rails are required after about 900 to 1,000 wheel horsepower. It has larger fuel injectors, a different fuel pressure regulator so we can increase the base pressure, bigger fuel pumps, the fuel pumps are hardwired, and also it has a flex fuel sensor. Flex fuel sensor is mounted by the firewall, it's a continental sensor. It measures the ethanol uh, content of the fuel. We can see it over here. Right now it's E0 because the lines are empty, of course. So you already know why we want to run flex fuel. Of course, ethanol is the key to making big power on any car that's able to run flex fuel. If you want to see how much power the car makes on E85 and you want to see how that compares to pump gas, make sure you check out our other videos.